On Thursday, February 25th, 2010, Chelsea King went out for a run at the Rancho Bernardo Community Park near Lake Hodges in San Diego, California. Chelsea, a straight-A senior and member of her cross-country team at Poway High School, never returned home. Her car was later discovered at the Rancho Bernardo Community Park alongside her cell phone, iPod, and school clothing. There appeared to be no attempted break-in or signs of distrust near the vehicle. The search for King began that same evening and intensified as FBI, members of local law enforcement, and hundreds of volunteers scoured the marshy areas near Lake Hodges, where King often went for lengthy jogs. Authorities also utilized sniffer dogs, drone aircrafts, and helicopters equipped with body temperature sensors to help facilitate the search for King. On Monday, March 1, 2010, law enforcement announced that an article of King's clothing with traces of DNA was collected on the southern edge of Lake Hodges. The DNA led to the incrimination and arrest of registered sex offender John Albert Gardner. Gardner was taken into custody the previous day on Sunday, February 28, 2010. According to investigators, Gardner had been linked to another attack on a jogger in December of 2009. The jogger in this case managed to break away and identified Gardner in a photo lineup, leading to his incrimination. Gardner was taken into custody and kept in solitary confinement in the jail's medical wing so that he would not be harmed by others or harm himself. On March 2, 2010, the discovery of Chelsea's body came six days after she went missing on February 25th. Her body was found in a shallow grave 10 feet from the southern shore of Lake Hodges at around 1 p.m. Pacific time. We have been talking for the last several days with the parents of Chelsea King, and police now believe they have found the body of the missing San Diego teen. Early show national correspondent Hattie Kaufman has the latest. A planned vigil for Chelsea King became a memorial after police discovered what they believe is her body in the county park where she went for a run. This is the area that we had been searching, but unfortunately uh, we missed it because it was in a shallow grave. Suspected of raping and killing Chelsea, registered sex offender John Albert Gardner will be charged in her murder today. Police now link him to the assault on another jogger in the park in December. That victim's sister wrote about the attack in her school newspaper. He's shaking her, yelling at her, shut up, shut up, and, and, she's, and she's screaming, and she just came up and smashed him in his nose with her elbow. Police are also investigating whether Gardner may be responsible in yet another case, the disappearance of 14-year-old Amber Dubois last year. The same height, same builds. Um, there are some very strong similarities. Gardner was convicted 10 years ago for an attack on a 13-year-old. Court documents say he attacked, beat, and forcefully sexually assaulted a small child with cruelty, viciousness, and callousness. For Chelsea's parents, it has been a hellish week, ending in the worst possible way. The King said their daughter was the kind of girl you dream of, the kind of kid everyone wanted as a parent. Everybody's going to help us in our healing. I want to thank you. Chelsea wants to thank you. Keep her spirit alive for us. Hattie Kaufman, CBS News, Los Angeles. On May 15, 2010, Gardner, who later confessed and pled guilty for taking Chelsea's life, was given a life sentence without the possibility of parole. He was later convicted for the murder and kidnapping of an Escondido teenager named Amber Dubois, who disappeared on her way to school in February of 2009 under eerily similar circumstances. Today, Brent and Kelly King, Chelsea's parents, run the Chelsea's Light Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to their daughter that aims to support youth and spreading positive change in the community. They strive to keep Chelsea's memory alive by organizing annual 5Ks to commemorate the run that she was never able to finish. The tragedy and shock of her death also inspired Chelsea's Law, which instituted a one-strike, life-in-prison policy for the most violent convicted sex offenders. Chelsea's Law was founded on the belief that violent sexual predators who go after children are a uniquely dangerous problem. Signed unanimously into law in September 2010, the newly enacted California legislation ensures that the state does everything it can to keep sex offenders from engaging in even more atrocious crimes upon release. Those who commit the worst violent sexual crimes against children are put away for life. At the time of this video being recorded, Chelsea King would have been 27 years old.